Thanks for watching. And today I want to calculate an integral and not really calculate. What I want to show is that this integral, whatever it is, is actually the product of two very beautiful functions. So I apologize if I don't give you an explicit value, but still, it's very nice. You'll see in a second. And so, this x to the s term is very nice, but we want to rewrite the 1 over e to the x minus 1 term here. So it's integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s over 1 over e to the x minus 1 dx. And we'll look, this almost looks like a geometric series, except what would be nice if, if this term is less than 1, and to do that, Let's take out an e to the x. So x to the s over e to the x over 1 over 1 minus, if you want 1 over e to the x, in fact, let's keep it that way, yeah. the x. And now, this looks more like a geometric series, because, you know, e to the x, I guess in that region, is strictly greater than 1. And so, recall... 1 over 1 minus r, it's the same thing as sum, if you want, from n from 0 to infinity of r to the n. So, it's the same thing but with 1 over e to the x. So it's integral from 0 to infinity, x to the s, e to the x, sum from n from 0 to infinity of 1 over e to the x to the n, in a second, I'll write this in a nicer form. So this is the same thing as 1 over e to the nx, which just becomes e to the minus nx. So this whole gibberish equals to the following. Okay, I keep forgetting my dx's. Okay. So it's integral from 0 to infinity x to the s over e to the x sum from n from 0 to infinity, e to the minus nx, the x. And now I'm going to do something that's pretty illegal, but it turns out it's justified here by some Fubini kind of argument. I'm going to take this sum and put it outside. Again, not always true. But I think because everything is decaying to zero pretty fast, is actually okay. So sum from zero to infinity of integral from zero to infinity of x to the s, e to the minus nx, and don't forget this e to the x, which I'll write as e to the minus x, and that's the same thing as sum from 0 to infinity, integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s, e to the minus n plus 1 x, the x. And well, this just calls for a substitution party. So let u be n plus 1 x, sorry, then uh, du is n plus 1 dx, so dx is du over n plus 1, and the nice thing is at 0 this is 0, at infinity this is infinity, so we get sum from n from 0 to infinity of integral from 0 to infinity, x to the s, what is x? x is u over n plus 1, so u over n plus 1 to the s, and then e of minus u, and then du over n plus 1. Looks like a horrible expression, but we'll clean this up in a second. So, what we're left with is the following. Let's see what I can erase, maybe here. Alright, so we have one factor of n plus 1 here, and we have s factors of n plus 1 here, 
So if you multiply them out, you really get s plus 1 factors of n plus 1. So it is sum from n from 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over, again, s plus 1 factors of n plus 1, and it's still u to the s, e of minus u, e of now here's a nice thing. Remember, s is a constant, and then n plus 1, well, it's a constant with respect to u. So you can literally just pull it out. So that is sum. n from 0 to infinity of 1 over n plus 1, s plus 1, integral from 0 to infinity, u to the s, e of minus u d of. And here's where the magic happens again. This integral itself, it doesn't depend on n at all. So you can also pull it out. So this thing, again, let it go, let it go, okay? What we're left with is the following. Integral from 0 to infinity, u to the s, e of minus u du, times sum from n from 0 to infinity of 1 over n plus 1, s plus 1. Almost there. We want to write this in terms of functions that we know. Notice, this is the same thing as integral from 0 to infinity of u to the s plus 1 minus 1 e of minus u d o. And this, Strictly speaking, okay, it starts at 0, but then we have 1 to the s plus 1, 2 to the s plus 1, etc., etc. So it's the same thing as saying sum from k from 1 to infinity of 1 over k to the s plus 1. And those are functions we are more familiar with. Because this thing, it's called the gamma function at s plus 1. And this thing, it's called the zeta function. Very bad at this one. At s plus 1. Because sum over, if you want, n to the sum. Real number or complex number to the s plus 1. That's the zeta function. And so, what did you find at the end? Again, unfortunately, we didn't really evaluate the integral, but we still found a neat result. 0 to infinity, x to the s, e to the x minus 1 dx. What we found, this integral is just equal to the product of the gamma function and the zeta function. So this integral is the product of two very, very important functions in math. Again, this is super important, and so is this. So. In some sense, maybe you can say we did evaluate this if you take the gamma and the zeta function as known. So it's pretty beautiful. And again, I skipped some steps about, you know, interchanging sums of integrals, but I believe it's still pretty legit. All right, so if you like those integrals and want to see more, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.